said the claim's down in the basement. Uh, you want to show us the basement? Oh, look how creepy it is. Stairs lead anywhere or not? Yeah, they lead to the outside of the back deck. where they had the footprints coming out of it. That's where the shoot was. I don't know if they dumped it into there and then... Footprints coming out. I don't know if it was out of here or out of the opening over there or... One of the other opening over there. Yeah. Well, what we could try to do is just maybe do like a little baby powder here, a little baby powder over there and see what we can, if we can catch those footprints. Who knows? But you don't come down here, you haven't really experienced anything just a, a previous summer. Yeah. There's enough dust to flatten it out. And today after I got off the phone with you, my microwave kicked. I think that I was waiting actually to go up in the attic when you guys got here to fix the or flip the circuit breaker because that never happened. That's why he wanted me to come home. <laughs> oh well you want to show us what you've experienced? I was standing in the middle of the room and I heard footsteps upstairs and everybody was downstairs and I could clearly hear it was above me, not below me. Heavy steps or? Just like walking across and then back and then back. And then that's when I went down to him and I saw <coughs> anybody upstairs and everybody was downstairs. Right. So well, the kids were watching the movies and they weren't like running around. Yeah, nobody was running around or anything like that. It was just, but it was a clear, you could hear footsteps upstairs and I'm standing here going, okay. Was it just like yeah. trying to recreate that? Someone walk around the house and walk well, downstairs, obviously. See if something can drive. Just... I think you'll oh, big beams up here and so. I don't know how the acoustics are in the house either. We can we can try to recreate it, but I definitely think we should be in the attic dependent. <laughs> definitely. You gonna be up there someday? How were, were you just standing here? And well, I was peeing and then the light dimmed down and then I like just seen it out of the corner of my eye and I took off out of here. I wasn't just like staring at it like... <laughs> I didn't know if you were like washing your hands and no, seeing it. No, I was in the washer or anything. Mm -hmm. but, uh, no, it was late at night. <coughs> so you kind of just turned like from here and seeing it. Well, when the lights went, I just started to go. Like I didn't try to look in the mirror, but I looked out of the corner of my eye and I seen like a white figure in the face and then I just... Where was she at in the mirror? That'll be mine. Right around here. Right about there. So <coughs> right well, all that marks weren't there then. That's wrong. Again, spraying stuff on there and then... Yeah. But you said, like, was she like up close to the mirror? Like, like, was like a picture distant. looking at you? Like, it was kind of distant or... Maybe, maybe like she was in the Where would you think she would be at? If it was a reflection though. I have no idea. Like standing right, right there? there, or there? Or Probably in the bathtub because it was like right in there. I was just walking and took off. And I heard standing up in my arms and I was scared. Okay. And that's the it. attic door, by the way. Oh, that's the attic door then? Yeah, and that's where I hear the footsteps. Or used to hear the footsteps. I don't go up here much. Yeah, that much at night anymore. So then you just hear that. 
That's I thought maybe you meant hallway when you were saying about footsteps. Oh, bathroom. Head on up. Let's go check it out. That's the only entrance up to the attic. All right. Yeah. Through the bathroom. Oh. Mm -hmm. It was going crazy. For yeah. Me. Don't get your phone near it, especially if it's a smartphone. Back there. Yeah. That's pretty. You don't see any places Oh, my beautiful. You don't see this type of craftsmanship anymore. No, you don't. It's just beautiful. Gorgeous. Gorgeous place. You might have to come here during the day to get some day shots. Oh, yeah. It's so pretty. It's so beautiful. This is coming back into this huge attic. Huge attic. Just a magnificent. See a plenty of board there's yeah, yeah. covering the hole down the stairs. And I know we were back there looking at some of that stuff and you could feel like something just brush against you. Like a cold breeze or something. I don't know. We got out of here then after that. So So what your overall feeling of this, like what do you feel? How do you feel like like this activity? Do you think anything Negative. It's more just like being weirded out about it. It's not really. It doesn't feel bad at all. No. Okay. I mean, I did that night. I was freaked out after that. I wouldn't even come up here for a couple weeks, two or three weeks. <coughs> and I started coming back up here. And when I'm by myself, I go up and I talk and like try to talk to us. I'm going up here not to hurt you and just in case there is something up here. How do you feel if uh, we have Connor try to get a little provocative to see if we can get anything up here? Is that right? Like, with this being the paranormal, we don't know. Right. I like Terry Arkey style better. This is just original. Open your ghost side. Messing with messing with, messing with ghosties. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna start that now. Mm -mm. I'm a good boy for a little bit. Let's be good boys for now. This for a little bit. 
Was that your new toy? Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is the Mill Ranger. Did you just have the Little Ranger? Kind of eerie. See what the temperature is? This audio is probably picking up all my chilling. Oh, look at the temperature. It was at 6.6. Six, six. Oh, it's going back up. Now it's going down. Flashlight goes there. Work. We have 66.6 .6 for a map. That's what always happens to me whenever I turn on my EMF. It's always 66.6 .6 each and every time. What is this? This is the full spectrum. This is the full spectrum. Oh my god. To record video, you just push the video button. Oh god. Right. And then that's the IR light. The IR. Actually, we'll have the light out. Actually, no. We'll leave the light on. minutes here we're going to be locking ourselves down in this house we've just seen all the heard all the claims and we're going to see what we can find out what's true and what's not we have mr michael brown our antagonist tonight he's going to be you know probably shouting out some nasty stuff antagonist against scaredy cat that's my title yep so a little bit more prone for action i'm gonna change my last name to brown brown yeah, that's German for brown. Michael de Braun. Yep. So let's lock ourselves in. Cameras can get that ready. I want to go back up with you if you don't mind when you go back up. Oh, no. No, that's fine. Right now, I'm just going to go take a camera up and a voice recorder up since we kind of did a little session before the official investigation just to see if Mike could antagonize anything and make it mad or sad or attack him. I don't want to attack. Well, if you're antagonizing, dude, you're more than likely going to be the one. That's my job. They'll make a believer out of you. But hopefully we get get some good stuff. You just want to make a blooper reel, don't you? No, are you serious? You don't have we are looking for any natural high electromagnetic fields. Connor has been a good friend of mine for years. He's really good when it comes to the cameras and all the equipment, so he was a perfect addition to the team. Mike's a good, close, personal friend of mine. 
He's joined us as a guest investigator, at least on two cases now. And he has a strong interest in the paranormal and wants to see what kind of evidence we can find. I've been investigating the paranormal for over six years now. Ever since I had my own experience, I've joined two different paranormal teams and then formed this team. Sweep, we found no high in the fields. We investigated for twenty minutes with no findings. decided to regroup downstairs to talk over our game plan for the investigation. It was during this part of our investigation where Connor and myself both heard this odd humming sound. We investigated where we heard it, thinking it was the fluorescent light bulbs in the bathroom right before the attic door. But later we came up with the conclusion that it was an outside source. Sounds like almost like a, a furniture being moved, maybe? Could have been furniture downstairs. Could have been one of them moving furniture. Let me try something. Hear that? That fluorescent? Mm-hmm. I just heard footsteps, but below me. As we started our investigation, we set up three MF meters, one voice recorder, one high R camera, and one thermal camera. We investigated for 30 minutes with no findings. Later we found out we captured three EVPs, which stands for electronic voice phenomenon, when the attic was empty. the attic with the client. We were told his one friend got aggressive towards the spirit and it ended with the client getting pushed. I decided to try provoking to see if I could get pushed.
push John. I think he could push me. I've been doing this for six years. I've been looking for things that I can't explain. And I want some good proof that you're here. I want you to either light up that meter, make any of those devices there go crazy, or push me. We investigated for 45 minutes and didn't experience any paranormal activity. issue but it just moves kind of weird but I'm getting ready to go to the client's house here and show him what we've got and see what he feels about all the evidence we've got and see if he wants us to further investigate it or not Thank you.